Hello guys, I am Gaur Joshi as a test engineer and Nitro Plus founder. So I'm just coming back to our topic because we should have to concern on the many more to topic which is are really interesting for to our future. But uh, today we will going to talk about uh, what is the ISTS system. Okay, so the ISTS is a simple is a form as a the interplanetary self sustained transportation system. So the main concern thing is the transportation system is visually which is uh, really helps to the mobilize the everything in across the planets. So in a normally in Earth we are using the road transport and which is the air transport and water transport to the move the stuff towards the any cities, countries, nation, which is are the all pla all place which is we wanted to move them. But the transportation system is really is a significant part of the, the civilization because without a transportation method yeah, and the way you we could not to have uh, the great the mobilization like a great move in a revolution in, in, in a revolution of the our uh, the future because the transportation system which is are really the concerning thing because the, you can see when we when we have to the there are formed our civilization onto the mars while we should have to take the transportation ways because in a mars we cannot to do the water transport cannot we do the typical air transport in a constantly in a flow way but frequently we can do the road and we can do the terrain transport the terrain transport means the land transport which is our uh, the normally we are the call it as a the road transport but you can see however people will see this concept is really is not worthy because I know I, I have to tell you about this many more. Okay, this system like a self charging system, yeah, ISTS program. So the self charging system is actually along with the ISTS for to propel the entire program. But ISTS is the only program is like a project which is uh, we are trying to the complete it to make the self-charging typical vehicles for the Mars, for the Earth, for the any and the planets which is can be resist from the uh, the radiations and many more of the hazardous thing which is are coming from the space. So you can see the transportation is really the significant thing and significant factor of the civilization. So we should have to concern on it and taking it as a seriously because um, you can see uh, the self-charging technology is normally is a conceptual technology, the conceptual part. This is only the segment uh, doesn't have any the practical uh, reference. So cause this technology is not to be uh, predictive as a more to will be dominate the entire automobile industry. But in a simple way, we can tell this technology will be the big dominant in the automobile industry. But uh, we actually wanna wanna be to the give it to towards the Mars because we we want to the establish the proper infrastructure of the transportation system in across the Mars, or to the move and mobilize the any cargo stuff passengers astronauts and where everywhere are there we will be uh, the move the one place to the another place by the using the self-charging vehicles so and second is one of the very advantage thing about this system and program so uh, you can see the self-charging technology is really is a very efficient technology it cannot be need any the external charging codes, external charging uh, ways for to charge it because it also the charge from the momentum of the itself. So you can see 
in a in a way of my mind because i have made the many more of uh, theoretical things on it you can uh, you can recognize as a the our technology our vehicles okay our self charging vehicles are capable to the move and run across run the until the many more of a mileage you can see the uh, the each uh, self charging vehicle could move over the uh, the 900 miles so it's really amazing but you know in a part of that in on the tail of the 900 miles it it really need to the take the maintenance because in a mars is really there have a many hazardous uh atmosphere around it because it should be take a uh, maintenance after completed the 900 miles so you can see it can go uh ab above the 900 miles so it's really the plus point for us to we can move the any stop and astronauts in a in every continent which is uh we wanted to the move them so this is the very biggest advantage of this thus program the isds and the second point is and like a third point i want to say to you all and to the world the transportation method is really significant okay we should not to take it as a as a less uh less productive because this the method this is like a ways our uh, transportation like we are nowadays we do as a through the launching the many more launch vehicles which is are call it as a the rockets the rocket is a transportation ways so that similar we should have to concern on the transportation system is where really is made for the entire controlling the planets so it's called the interplanetary system so there is a really the plus points and many more the minus points to uh, have this technology but in my way the ists means the interplanetary self-sustained transportation system is really worthy for to have a great and sufficient transportation method in a, in every planet so uh, i hope you you will be understand what i have told you so this is really amazing in my point so bye all of i will meet you in another video this is the day two which is our actually we said we uh, i'm just concerning on my project and still working on it still hard working don't be ever looking for the give up so bye you all of i will meet you in the next video until see this video and watch more many videos on our channel bye all of